I'm sorry, but I just can't. I can't do it. I just can't. Lola, we have to keep moving. Seriously, Clark, do you guys really run this much all the time? Put them up high. Do you have a plan, Clara? Do you have any idea who the doctor might be? Your guess is as good as mine. See, what was it? What was it? I read it today. If you search for him with all your heart and soul, you'll find him. Deuteronomy 6, 3, 16. <gasps> I got it! We have to find room 16B. Well, that sounds like a guess to me, but I guess we don't really have any other choice. Let's go. Come try to fool me again, have you? Of course not. That's just a coincidence. Well, I'll just make sure that doesn't happen again. You and your friend are going to be executed. As to not bring terrorism to my country. <laughs> That's funny. What makes it so funny, Doctor? You think we're the terrorists, when you're the one clearly hurting all these people, and you can't even face me unless I'm in a cage. You've also gone terribly mad with power, I'm afraid. And what makes you any different? I'm a madman with books. The books is extra. Perfect. Now what? I have a plan. I'll cause a distraction and then you do the sonic screwdriver to the doctor. Alright, sounds like a plan to me. Hey, Hitler! I think you lost something. What? World War II! <laughs> Don't try to catch! Ah, freeze them! Seize this! Ow! That girl threw a potato at my face! Everybody run! Anywhere from 10, 20, 30, 40. Hunter, what are we gonna do? And did he just like mess up the whole timeline of historical events or something? Please, like, explain something to me. Like, what's going on? Doctor, you better start explaining everything in the fast paced way you do right now. There's no time to explain. You have to go right now. Wait, why is there no time to explain? I'd explain, but there's no time. I get it, I get it. That's hard. You guys killed, didn't I? I'm just really sorry. You didn't do anything wrong, Lola. In fact, you are amazing and you saved both of our lives. So, why am I back home? I brought you home because I don't want to put you in danger in the feather. And besides, I think you're a little too young to be doing all this. You would, however, make a very good companion someday. Thanks, Doctor. Goodbye, Lola. Bye, Doctor. Thanks for taking me on this awesome adventure. Bye, kiddo. It was nice having you around. Thanks. Wait, Clara, um, you dropped your bow earlier, and I kept it. I thought you might want it back. Oh, keep it, Lola. I'm sure it looks better on you. Thanks, Clara. Bye. Bye. Well, Clara, best be going now. <gasps> Wait, will I ever see you again? Do you think I could be your companion someday? We'll see. We'll see? Yes, I have a chance! Bye, guys, bye! Sizes are red, the TARDIS is blue, bow ties are cool, and the doctor is too. Mom, I'm back with my 
my adventure in time and space! What are you talking about, sweetie? You went outside and came right back in. Oh, right. Well, at least I've got a Doctor Who season finale on tonight. I'm so excited! Whatever you say, honey.